Marcus. Hey, how are you? Thank you. Thank you for joining us this Friday evening. I am so happy you are here. Thank you for being here. Welcome, my darlings. Those of you who are here, be sure to stop in and say hi. I would like to know that you are here visiting on this Friday evening so that we can check in. Hi, how are you, Dorothy? Miss Focus, hi, how are you? Beverly, hey, thank you for joining us on this beautiful, beautiful Friday evening. I appreciate you being here. I forgot I had my music in my ear. I, I tell you guys that I have my, my personal dance parties. Um, and so I had the music in my ear while I was getting ready for tonight's show. And so, um, even though I was dancing to the music and swaying to the music, I just realized, oh, I still have my music in my ear. So, hey, hi, JLR. Thank you for joining us tonight. Welcome, welcome, Annette. Thank you, our new member. I appreciate you for being here. I am more happy. Can't stop watching all your work. Oh, thank you, Dulce. Just like your name says, Dulce, you are so sweet. I appreciate you. Hi, Patricia. I am fine. Thank you so very much for asking. How are you? How have you spent your day? How are you coping? What's going on? Teresa, hello. How are you? Let me know how you guys have spent your day. I really would like to know how you all are coping. Like I said, just doing these check-ins to make sure that my darlings, you guys are okay. For those of you who are essential workers, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you on behalf of myself as well as the channel for all of the hard work you are doing and for putting yourself in harm's way. Please know that the services that you provide for us are priceless and we cannot say thank you enough. And for those of us who are home, what are you doing to pass the time? So let's see. Cassandra, hi, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Miss Chocolate Star, thank you. Welcome, welcome to our show this evening. How have we spent our day? I spent the day with a very dear friend. Today we had lunch together, and um, so that was fun. I did not have to leave the home, um, but rather they came to me, so it was nice to be able to see you know, someone else to interact with someone. So it was a wonderful day. And then of course I kind of started getting set up for today a little earlier because I know I was expecting company. And then of course, you know, I had to work at the same time online. So it was a full day, but very productive and I cannot complain at all. So that's what I did to spend my day. And of course, while I was getting ready, waiting for the time to pass, I had my soca music in my air and I was dancing um, a little bit. So that's how I spent my day. So share with me, how have you guys spent this beautiful Friday? Let's see here. Miss Focus says, I'm eating a quart of my favorite ice cream after a long day of working. And thank you, thank you, Miss Focus, for all of your hard work being an essential worker. Please keep safe and take care of yourself out there. Know that we appreciate all of you what is your favorite ice cream that i would like to know and then i'll share with you what mine is jlr you use a barbecue to make s'mores awesome been in the house have my bible by me and relaxing what's a wonderful way to spend the day grand evening to you thank you god's gift you had to work i'm glad that you are home safely now thank you for your hard work during these times Dulce says in front of her desk most of the day doing crafts um, and you love it. Of course, that is our escape and that's what we do to take our mind off of everything that is going on now. Teresa says, I work today and my granddaughter Alea says hello. Hi, Alea. Thank you so much for saying hello. Please know that I appreciate you. Everyone in the feed, can we say hello to Alea, please? That would make her smile, I am quite sure. Let's see, Annette says, I was catching up on my Christmas movies. By any chance, do you happen to watch, what is it, the Hallmark Channel? I have two best girlfriends, my best friend and another dear, dear friend of mine, and they connected through me 
by watching the Hallmark Channel. I tell you, it's crazy. So I'm just curious to know if that's what you are watching. Um, let's see. I am here at home now working in healthcare, but all is well, eating and relaxing. Thank you so very much, Kelly R, for all that you do. Please stay safe and take care of yourself. Please know that we appreciate all of the hard work all of our healthcare workers are doing to keep us safe during this time. We appreciate you. Let's see here. Oh, Miss Focus, see? We're connected. Kindred Spirits. That is absolutely my favorite ice cream too. Mint chocolate chip. And my favorite brand would happen to be haagen -Dazs. I don't know if you have ever had the haagen -Dazs mint chocolate chip. If you have not, please try it. It is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Color top, I took the day off. I'm a therapist and child welfare worker. The increase of onset of mental health has been exhausting as well as the increase of, I know. And as a teacher, I worry about that. Um, I do. So, you know, all we have to do is keep them lifted in prayer and, you know, with people like you, Miss Chocolate Star, out on the front lines, you know, seeking and making sure that our babies are okay, the mental health of our family and friends are okay. You know, again, we just thank you for everything you are doing because yes, I've heard, I've heard some stories and it's not easy out there. So thank you so very much. Miss Nebraska, 121 Nebraska, good evening. How are you? Thank you for being here with us today. Dorothy says she did grocery shopping for my sister and mother-in-law. Yay! That's where I recorded from. Awesome. I was doing orders and watching movies, enjoying being off today. Awesome, awesome. Happy day off. Hi, God's anointed daughter. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Thank you so much for the prayers. I send my prayers back to you and protection. I've been watching funny movies and relaxing. Awesome. I'm telling you, Miss Focus, yes, we are so alike. We are so alike. The only thing now that would seal the deal, and I haven't seen all that um, plus online yet, but if she watches, it's the only thing that would seal the deal if you're a red girl like me. So you let me know. <laughs> she can see this later. That's my favorite brand of ice cream. See? Oh my gosh. Yes. So now all you have to say is that your favorite color is red and we are best buddies. <laughs> So I want to thank all of you for being here. I know more people will be joining us um, as the time passes, but just so that I'm honoring your time. And of course, I will go over this when more people check in and let me know that they are here. But for those of you were, who were here on Wednesday, we had, first of all, I just want to tell you guys, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for the excellent time we had together on Wednesday. To hear one of my subscribers said that was the best live that we had ever done really, really melted my heart. You guys were engaged. We were laughing, telling jokes. I had an amazing time. And when I got off that evening, I got off with the warm and funny uh, fuzzies and butterflies um, in my tummy. So I just want to thank you guys for that as we continue to grow as a community and love on each other and take care of each other, learn and craft from each other. I would just hope that we will continue in this same sentiment um, so that, you know, when people come to check out what we're doing over here on this side of YouTube, you know, what they will see more than seeing our craft and the hard work that we're doing together, they'll see our warm and welcoming spirit. So I just, <gasps> I'm clutching my pearls, Miss Focus. So I just want to thank you guys for that. Team Blue. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry indeed. So yes. So for those of you who were here with us on Wednesday, we actually had a great conversation of coming up with a new series for our channel. And how that came up was because I was speaking to um, one of our subscribers and he gave me the idea for the topic that we had on Wednesday last week. And that topic was um, how to work out of your stash. And when he shared that topic with me, One Way Design is his name. 
And when he shared that topic with me, immediately the idea of having a new series just popped into my head and I said, okay, we were going to run with it. And so when I presented it to you guys on Wednesday, um, I started immediately getting feedback, um, feedback as much as what rules we're going to have, feedback as much as what are we going to title our show. Um, I opened it up to you guys and you guys came up with some phenomenal ideas and I was so impressed. Of course, between the two days, I had to really sit and think and decide which of these names am I going to use? How am I going to tie it all together so that whatever I decide to use, which title, it is going to encompass everything that we do here on our channel. And so before I give you the winning name, I am going to share with you, go over the rules. First, I'm gonna check the chat to see um, how many people, if any more people logged in, and then I'll share with you the rules, and then I'll share with you the title, and then I will share with you what's in the basket so that you guys will be ready to run, okay? All right, all right, all right. Will we be able to create the monthly winner's craft? Yes, that is something we can definitely do. As a matter of fact, what we could possibly do with that winner's, um, with that winner's permission, I could recreate it with their permission, or they could actually, and here another brilliant idea, while you are making your piece, what you could possibly do is take snapshots of it, write your directions, um, for each stage of your craft. And then I can definitely post that on the blog with a shout out to our winner uh, so that you can not only be learning from me, but also be learning from one of your fellow DIY mates. I like that. Awesome idea. Thank you, God's gift. Okay, so now what we are going to do is just quickly go over the rules. And this show is going to be a one month recurring monthly, one month collaboration, okay? Now, the basket, when I share it with you, is going to have between eight to 10 items in the basket, okay? The, hey son, excuse me. When you are working with the items in the basket, you will have to incorporate at least half of the basket's items. So I'm gonna tell you now, the basket that you're going to see today has 10 items in it, if I remember correctly, 10 items. To be a part of this collaboration, you're going to have to use at least five, or you can use the entire basket of all 10 items, okay? So the rule is you must incorporate half of the basket. Next rule is that whatever adhesives you have at home, because I didn't put any adhesives in the basket, so whatever you want to use to build your project up, you are free to do so, whatever you have at home. So whether it's your hot glue gun, whether it's a two-part epoxy, whether it is um, your permanent glue, whatever you decide, whatever you have at home, feel free to use that. And as Miss Annette said on Wednesday, which had me cracking up, Miss Annette, for a long time that evening and into the next day, your seasonings, okay, because I'm chopped, they can use whatever seasonings or pantry items that they want. Whatever seasonings or embellishments you have at home, feel free to decorate your project. So if you wanna add flowers to your project, you can do so. If you wanna add diamond wrap to your project, you can do so. If you want to add feathers to your project, whatever you are going to need to have your project stand out you are allowed to do so, but it must be from your stash, okay? Next, the project, so once you've put all your projects together, 
Um, I did say on Wednesday that I wanted you guys to insta uh, put them on Instagram and send them to me, uh, tag me in them. But when I thought about that, I decided that that wouldn't necessarily be a good idea because if you're posting it before I have a chance to judge it or even before the deadline, then you're opening up yourselves to prying eyes. So how we are going to ameliorate that is we, I would like you guys to email me a picture of your finished project to dannysdarlings at gmail.com and I will type it in in a little bit so that you can have reference to it by April 24th. So I'm gonna show you your basket tonight and then I'm going to give you two weeks to finish your project and by the 24th, so if you finish your project in a week and you wanna mail it to me before that, you may. But by April 24th at midnight, those projects need to be in my inbox at dannysdarlings at gmail.com no later than 12 o'clock p.m. midnight, okay? And then the very next day, April 25th, all the way through May 7th, I am going to be judging these, and then the winner will be announced on May 8th, all right? Any questions about that? Let me know if you have any questions. So you cannot upload pictures to the um, YouTube site, Teresa, but you can send me pictures of your project to my email address. And now that I'm saying that, let me type it in, lest I forget. Um, oops, hold on. Okay. It was off. Danny's darlings at gmail.com. And I see um, Miss Annette laughing at me. Yes, girl, you had me rolling for two days. I was like, Missy just dropped, said what she had to say, dropped the mic, and twirled on out. So I thank you, thank you, thank you for. Um, your participation it was funny and um it was a good laugh i got a good laugh from it so are there any questions any questions whatsoever no no questions all right so the title of our show again we had wonderful wonderful um um entries and the title of our show is um was chosen from rather um, about, I want to say 10 or 13 titles. And just so we can run them down again, we had Miss Focus sharing Basket Surprise Mix and Make. We had Vicki Richards Creative Minds, Natasha Mitchell Crafty Crafters. We had Liz Rodriguez with Pick, Choose, Create. We had Katrina Simmons with Unique Crafter. Um, we had Miss T. Harris with Three. She had cut or fold, you make the cut, or you fold and fail. Then she also had, will this be a successful DIY, or bye-bye. And then she also had, darling do, or darling don't. So those were interesting. Um, Dominique James came in with the best crafter out there. And then Vicki Richardson said craft appetite. And then Dorothy Noble, mystery crafting. And Miss Focus came up with another one. One, two, three, create. And then um, One Way Design came up with stashology. So these were all of the wonderful ones we had. And are you guys ready to hear what is going to be? the title of our new series. Let me know. Hi, Margo. How are you? Thank you for being here with us on this Friday evening. Let us know while I wait for them to tell me they are ready. Let us know what you did today. How did you spend your day? We would like to know. So I'm waiting for some drum rolls. I'm waiting for someone to tell me if they're ready. I want to share, but I'm not going to share unless you say that you are ready. <laughs> Nobody? <laughs> Are you guys not as excited as I am? Come on. 
Let our fingers do the walking. Okay, and that says she's ready. Let's give me one more ready, and then I will let you guys know what. Yay! Miss Dorothy says that she's ready too. Okay, so the title of our new series is Thank You, Miss um, Focus, and Thank You, God's Gift. The title of our new series is, and I have to come up with some signage. I cannot wait to get the signage done for this. Is D I Y or Bye Bye the Stash Edition. I love it. I love it. So DIY or Bye Bye the Stash Edition. And then as a tagline, we could have Darling Do or Darling Don't. So this one, I thank Miss T. Harris for giving us that um, title. And then the stash edition, um, since we're working with our stashes at home, I felt what better way to incorporate that, excuse me, what better way to incorporate that into the title? So DIY or bye bye the stash edition. I am so happy, 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 happy. Margot Lewis, I spent the day making masks for my neighbors. Awesome, thank you so very much for doing that. We appreciate you. We really, really do. All right, so now the next thing we have to do is share with you what is in the basket. So I'm gonna need another series of ready before I tell you what's in the basket. So I'll wait. And I'll hang out with you guys in the chat room so that we can chat a little bit more. And I think you guys are going to like the selection that is in the basket. I really think you're going to like it. I tried to make it as versatile as I possibly could, trying not to, of course, stunt you know your creativity. But I gave you a wide range of mediums that you could use. So I'm just curious to see what you guys are going to come up with. All right. Yay. Thank you, God's gift. Thank you, Margo. JLR, thank you. Dulce says she's ready. Annette is ready. Margo is ready. And Dorothy in all caps. She's like, I'm ready. Let's go. All right. So our basket... I thought I had one with, uh, um, I thought I had one with, uh, oh, I don't want to show you yet at that angle. I thought I had one with a cover somewhere in my stash since we're talking about using our stash, but unfortunately I did not. So this is why you can kind of look over the top and see on the inside. So I'm going to pull each item out one by one and you guys will be able to see the 10 items that you are going to have to work with for this month's craft. Since I'm new on this field, I need to win. <laughs> yes, okay. So the first item in our basket is a candle. And this is already embellished and you don't have to use an embellished uh, candle. Again, I just pulled this from my stash. Okay, so this is what I have. First item is a candle. The next thing you're going to use, if you have in your stash, is a piece of foam. It doesn't have to be this size. It doesn't even have to be this shape. Whatever foam that you have in your stash, because remember, I pulled this from my stash, so this is, if I were competing, what I would work with, so piece of foam. The next thing, yay! The next thing you would, hi one way, thank you for joining us, have to work with is a vase. Now I said, I think on Wednesday, that Dollar Tree has two sizes of these, okay? So if you have the six inch at home, that's perfect. This is a nine inch, but if you have a six inch at home, feel free to use your six inch. If you have a nine inch at home, that is perfectly okay. We are using what is in our stash. So a cylindrical vase, item number three. Item number four is this pack of cordial glasses. So whether you use all six or just like chopped, whether you use a lot or a little bit, 
you use all six or you use one that's entirely up to you okay so pack a cordial glasses hi miss katrina hello 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 hi one way thank you for being here yay okay and then the last time on saturday when we made is it saturday yes when we made our riser we used four of these so if you have any decorative plaque or square or tile as we call them from the dollar tree you can use this so that's one two three four five i have here a little fish bowl whatever size you have it does not have to be this one i just pull from my stash if you have the small fish bowl that's perfect if you have the larger fish bowl that's perfect if you have one like the this one that's perfect as well all right and then we have some of these asymmetrical bowls this is the medium size it comes in a two pack if you have the smaller set that comes in a four pack that's fine if you have the large one that comes as a single that's fine use what's in your stash but it has to be this asymmetrical shape and chrome colored all right then we have these little thingamajiggers all right which are your napkin rings a pack of them if you want to use one feel free if you want to use all six or three it is entirely up to you i am so excited here we have a mirror in a frame again and just so you are being creative if you want to use the mirror feel free if you want to use the frame feel free if you want to use the back um, as cardboard feel free but you can break this apart to use whatever part of it a little bit of it or a lot of it a bit yeah that didn't come out right but you know what i'm trying to say okay and then the last thing that's in your basket one two three four five six seven eight nine is some adhesive gems and i know as dollar tree customers we have a lot of these bad boys around doesn't have to be blue but embellishments stickered embellishments will be fine so there you have it my darlings the 10 items you are going to need to create this month's craft are we excited hi miss t harris you just got here i'm going to let you know what the title to our next series is going to be i am so excited so any questions about any of the items i just showed you for this month's collaboration i'm going to go over it again this month you have an option to work with 10 items according to the rules you have to use at least five or you can use all 10 and so yay margo says yes it's very nice awesome so we can see that margo she's ready she's ready to go because she's already trying to figure something out and how she's going to put all or some of these items together what happens if you don't have a stash since i'm just starting okay guys let's help miss dulce what are we going to do for miss dulce since she's just starting out and she doesn't have a stash what should she do let's talk about it margo yeah i'm excited too i really want to see what you guys come up with i have not put my brain to it yet i literally went into my stash and just if my eye fell on something i picked it up and i put it in the basket picked it up and i put it in the basket because i didn't want to dwell on it too much to come up with an idea of what it should look like i honestly want to be surprised by what you guys are going to come up with I can't wait either to see what they come up with one way. I am so excited. Okay, I'm going to go over them again, T, and uh, Miss T, and I'm also going to let you know what the title of our show is. So let's go over these quickly one more time. So you have a mirror, 
in a frame. Like I said, you can use all of the mirror. You can use, you can source material from the mirror, whether you want to use the mirror itself, the frame itself, the backing for cardboard, that's entirely up to you. You have some Dollar Tree adhesive stickers. All right. Whatever you have in your stash, I pull this from my stash. If you happen to have butterfly stickers from the Dollar Tree, that is perfectly okay. You also need um, this tile that we used last Saturday for our craft with me. All right. You also need a fish bowl, whatever size you have. I know Dollar Tree sells a large one. Um, a smaller one. They also sell the one with almost like the frill on the top. And then um, every now and again, they will sell these cracked glass ones. So whatever you have is fine. A pack of these cordial glasses. All right. Whether you want to use one or you want to use all six, you may. A cylindrical vase. This one is nine inch. Dollar Tree sells two sizes. If you have the six inch one, use it. If you have the nine inch one, use it. It's entirely up to you, but the vase must be cylindrical. Then here we have these chrome plated bowls. Again, Dollar Tree sells three sizes. There's a large one that comes as a single. There's a medium sized one that comes as a double. And there's a small pack that comes as a quadruple. So there's four in the small pack, two in the medium pack, and one, uh, the single. The large one comes as a single. So use whatever you have. Then you here have a piece of foam. This is just a piece of foam I grabbed. I'll say it again. It doesn't need to be round. It doesn't need to be this thick. Whatever foam you have at home. And then, of course, a candle. Mine is embellished because it was in my stash, so I just pulled what I saw. Yours doesn't have to be. And a pack of these napkin rings, chrome plated. If you want to use one or you want to use all six, it is entirely up to you. So there you have it, my darlings. These are the items in our basket for this month and I am so excited to see what you guys are going to come up with. I cannot wait to start getting your pictures in my email. This is gonna be so much fun. This is gonna be so exciting. And the more we do it as we play every month, we hope that we can bring on um, new subscribers, I'm looking forward to you guys creating the buzz online, on social media, so that we can get some attention to what we are doing over here in this corner of YouTube. Okay? So, awesome. Ms. Boca says she loves the selection of items. Um, this will be fun to... can't see. Something is in my way, and I don't know where my mouse is. Okay. Um, this will be fun to create. Yes, she can shop her home. Okay, so how is she gonna shop her home? So she doesn't have a stash because she's not, um, she's not a crafter, she's just starting. So are we gonna allow her to go get some things or are we going to say, hold off until next month? This is what I want us to discuss because then it will take her that month to purchase a few things if she is able to safely do so. Um, because like I said, I don't want to know, you know, that you guys go out there and you get exposed. That would just break my heart for you. So, you know, perhaps um, let's decide as a group what we are going to do. Um, uh, it is going to be awesome and fun. Miss Focus, can't wait to see One Way Designs to 3 a Creation with these items. Indeed. Um, and Katrina is excited. So yeah, I am so glad that you guys are all excited. I am excited too. I cannot wait to see what my darlings come up with. I know that there are some of you in here who are crafters at heart. I've seen your work. You've sent me pictures. There's some of the things that you have sent. I look at them and I'm like, oh, 
Why didn't I think of that? Just awesome, amazing, creative things. So I cannot wait to see what you guys are going to come up with. And to those of you who possibly are in our audience, but, um, are not saying hi, um, please feel free. If you would like to participate in our collaboration, our monthly collaboration, just say hi, let us know that you're there. You heard the rules. And so if you'd like, we will be happy to have you. So for the benefit of Miss T and a few others who came in a little later, I'm just going to recap the rules and I'm going to give you the name of our new show. And so Miss T, Yay, can we tell Leadria, thank you so much for becoming a new member. Congratulations and welcome, welcome Leadria. We are happy, happy, happy that you are here. Yay. Hi from South Carolina. How is it there? What is going on? Are you on, on lockdown? You know, what are you, how did you spend your day? I think so too, Dulce. Um, I think <laughs> a royal diadem. And uh, no, it doesn't. And no, it doesn't. <laughs> oh gosh, you're gonna make me laugh out loud even harder than I am already. But yes, okay. So T. Harris, I don't understand what you're saying, but um, let me say this. So the title. T. Harris, are you listening? Of our new series is DIY or Bye Bye, the Stash Edition. And the tagline we're going to use for this is Darling Do or Darling Don't. What's it going to be? <laughs> so we want to say thank you to T. Harris for her amazing, amazing ideas. Um, and thank you One Way Design for your entry of Stashology. And I just took a miss, miss, mishmash of them and put them together because I think this really encompasses everything that we are doing here on our channel. So I am excited, 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 excited to see what you guys are going to come up with. Drum roll, please. Da -da 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 to see what you guys are going to come up with. And yes, Dorothy is saying the same thing. Wait until next month. Leadria. Oh, wow. So practicing social distancing and all of the stores are closed or closing earlier. Wow. Well, just make sure my darling, you are staying safe, that you are practicing your social distancing and that you are staying healthy, okay? Please, please, please. Miss Joyce, welcome, welcome, welcome. I have been missing you too, my darling. It is so good to see you in the chat today. Welcome. How are you doing um, with this on your normal? How did you spend your day? How are you coping? how, what, just what's up? What's up with you? I haven't seen or heard from you in so long. And of course, I know that's not you. That's all me. I've been away for a few months. So just fill me in. Let's get caught up. Yay, T. Harris. I am so happy that you are happy. Ah. Um, <laughs> Miss Dulce says, Miss Dulce says, sorry about that. Uh, she says, no, I want to participate. I know, but I wouldn't want you to have to go out there and, um, you know, expose yourself and, and get in trouble. So maybe let's wait until next month. You know, let's see. All right, Leandria, thank you. Of course, you are welcome, welcome, welcome. That's what I'm talking about. We love on each other. We love on each other on this channel, and I appreciate that. All right, so one final wrap-up of the rules. So the rules for this competition, sorry, I just kicked my camera, is that it is going to be a recurring one-month collaboration series where every month after I judge, 
we're gonna start over again with a new basket full of items, okay? The basket will have either eight to 10 items in it, and then you must, whatever you're creating, you must use half of the basket items, or six of them, seven of them, eight of them, however many you like, but it has to be at least half. So for this month's basket, I presented you guys with 10 items. You have to use at least five of the items as much as up to all of the items if you so choose. Um, adhesives and embellishments, please feel free because um, Miss Annette called them the seasonings and being able to use whatever seasonings they want to in the chopped kitchen. So use whatever seasonings you have, your embellishments, whatever you have on hand, and your adhesives, whatever you have on hand. Remember, this is a stashology, stashology. This is a, the stash edition. So I'm hoping and praying, of course, that you guys are going to work with the utmost of integrity, which I know you will because that's who we are. And so your adhesives and your embellishments, whatever you have in your stash, if you want to use flowers, you know, to make it look pretty, whatever you would like to do. And then in terms of um, judging, sorry, your projects must be emailed to me, Danny's Darlings, at gmail.com by April 24th, no later than 12 o'clock p.m. midnight. So from tonight to the 24th is two, is two weeks, right? And then judging will start on April 25th, and then I will announce the winner on May 8th of 2020, and then the following week, I will present another basket on Friday. Yay, I am so excited. I am so excited. Well, just be careful, Dulce. Please be careful. Hi, Rebecca. Thank you for being here. JLR, you are most welcome, my darling. Please excuse the what? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, I understand. Thank you for explaining it because I, I, did, I didn't have the, the context, so I was confused just a tad. Oh, and it says, I have all but one of the items, and that's okay. So that leaves you with nine. So you can work from five with five items to nine items. That's entirely up to you. So I am excited that you guys are all so excited, Miss Focus. Yes, I agree with you. This is going to be an amazing new series where I am going to get to learn from you, my darlings, and I am going to see the amazing talent and the amazing creativity each and every one of you who participates have. Now, this month, you may not want to participate this month, but I'm hoping that as our series grow, that you guys, whoever is still thinking about it, mulling around about it, you know, trying to decide if yes, no, hopefully as we proceed, you guys will get a little bit more courage and just say, hey, I'm going to grab the bull by the horns and I'm going to just get on this ride, okay? So please, please, please let me know. Yay! So Miss Leadria, so once we are finished with the live, um, YouTube will generate a video from this and then you can go back and see what we're about to roll out um, with this new series. And yes, Leadria, a very good question. I will post the instructions on our community page. Tonight, I'm going to come up with our new signage. I'm so excited. I'm going to come up with a t-shirt for it, a mug for it. I am just so excited to see how far we are going to take this new series together. Yay, my darlings. I am so happy. Happy, happy, happy. So are there any questions? Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know. Good. I'm glad. Yes. So you'll be able to see it after. Hi, Miss Angela. How are you? I'm so glad that you are here. Thank you for joining us. Let us know how your day has been going, your time. 
We would like to hear from you. And let me know, you guys, if you guys have any more questions, please be certain to jump on and let me know what you're thinking. If you have any clarifying points that you'd like to make, please be sure to do so. Um, I will place the rules on our community page so that you will have access to it as well as our signage and, um, as well as our signage and we are going to get this ball rolling. I am so excited to see what you guys are going to be doing. Fun, fun, fun. Now tomorrow I'm going to be coming with you guys live with a brand new project. And I hope that again, pulling from my stash because I'm not going out there. I hope you guys will be able to perhaps craft with me. And if not, it's okay. But I hope that you guys will be able to, or will like the project and would want to recreate what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Like I said, on Wednesday, we're going to be creating candle holders. I actually had two ideas for candle holders. And so, and so I'm sorry, I thought somebody said something. Two ideas for candle holders, but I didn't want, and I put this out there to the group. I didn't want to, I was concerned about the time because I didn't want to not honor your time. And when I explained to you guys that, you know, the idea that I was having and trying to do two projects in one hour, many of you responded and said, well, let's just do one and table the other till next weekend. So that is what we're going to do. But I sure do hope that you guys will like or enjoy the craft that we are going to make tomorrow. Very simple, but very elegant. When you see it, I'm quite sure you're going to like it. Jumping around my hubby. <laughs> he said, what is wrong with me? <laughs> you are so excited. Let him know. Hey, have him watch a video. Maybe he might want to craft with you and get in, in the competition as well. You never know. Who's to say that a, a husband or wife crafts together, they stay together. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we need to put that on a t-shirt too. Let's see one way. Do you got your girl? Can we write that down somewhere? And you know what happened? Yeah, we're going to put this on a t-shirt. The family that crafts together stays together. Yay. All right. Um, I am so happy. I was going to say, I meant to tell you guys this but I'm telling it to you now because I wouldn't have had any other time to say it. But remember when I, I just had a knowing, you know, I remember when you guys were giving me the titles for, thank you, Miss Annette. Remember when you guys were giving me the titles for the shows that you guys thought that, you know, you, you, well, I'm at a loss for words today. Remember when you guys were giving me ideas for the title of our new show? Yes. And while the titles were coming up on the screen, right, I decided to write them down. I just felt in my spirit, write these down. Do you know that it is a good thing I did just that? And the reason why I'm saying that is because, and if you go back to Wednesday's stream, at least on my screen, I'm not getting it. If you go back to Wednesday's stream and you click on it, there is no live, there is no live chat. The live chat is gone. So I don't know if it was an error on my behalf. I don't know if it, it's a glitch in the system, but when I saw that, cause I went to replay it to make sure everything was okay. And when I saw that it was gone, I breathed a sigh of relief. I said, Oh my gosh, suppose I had not written those titles down, not only the titles, but even the name of the person who, um, volunteered the titles. So I am so happy that I did that. You know, my, my dad, always says, you know, when your spirit tells you to do something, do it because his daddy, my grandfather used to tell him that. And so that is something that has been passed down to us generation to generation. And so I am happy that I listened and I wrote them down. All right, Angela. So when we are finished with the live, this will, um, 
will replay just as a regular video and if you'd like to you can go watch a video again and it will tell you we're starting a new series and we spoke about the title of our new series DIY or bye bye the stash edition darling do or darling don't and then I showed you the 10 items that you are going to have to use it was a mystery basket and in the mystery basket there were 10 items as well as we went over the rules for our competition and the timing of it so you have if you're going to participate I don't know watch a video and then you can decide you have seen the mystery items tonight on the 10th you're going to have until the 24th to finish your craft to send a picture to me by 12 p.m. midnight no later than April 24th 12 p.m. midnight and then I will judge the items and then on May 8th I will announce a winner and then the following week we are going to start the process all over again so we are excited as a community to get this new project off the ground what we say so my darlings my why by when you can DIY can you imagine I heard on the grapevine that somebody else was using our tagline too let me tell you things ain't easy out here in these YouTube streets but that's okay I'm back and we are going to reclaim everything that is ours every single thing yay everyone had a good time yes 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 last uh, Wednesday's live was fun this Wednesday's live is fun too and I am just curious to see what you guys are going to come up with with the mystery items so my darlings we have about five more minutes left like I said if there are no questions about what we're going to do um, feel free to you know ask I should say rather if there are questions about what we're going to do feel free to ask um, I will post the information on our community page so that you can have access to it there I will post our new signage there as well so that you can have access to it there and what else did I say oh if you did not see the video in its entirety if you do not come in um, as soon as we got started the video will render or the live will render and it will be a video for you to watch so that you can go back and catch what you have missed all right so I don't see any more questions coming in and I already see people saying good night it's almost like if we were at the birthday party and somebody cut the cake you know what they say when you go to a birthday party don't cut the cake because once you cut the cake all the guests are gonna leave right so I just want to say to you guys I will see you guys God willing tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock for our next craft with me live and I think you're going to enjoy what we're going to be making tomorrow it is going to be a functional project functional beautiful elegant project it is also going to be a project that will help to just get your minds off of everything that is happening so I'm looking forward to seeing you guys then and then if there is nothing else until then my darlings I say to you guys please 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 take care of yourselves for me know that I love you all Mwah. <laughs> Mwah. Good night. See you tomorrow. <laughs> you are most welcome, Miss Margot. Most welcome. You are most welcome, Miss Dulce. Thank you so much. Good night, everyone. I love you guys. Bye bye.